All right, they're fed and happy and we can get back to this, right? Hope so. Our cow farm is taking shape. We do potentially need to get mana over here, but I'm going to start with hoping I have enough um, from the roses to get started. Hoping. We'll see. All right, so this mana spreader is going to go underneath here, pointing at the mana spreader or at the pool. We'll put it right there. There we go. It should be close enough to connect to all of those flowers. Um, we need to get some of those flowers over here. So let's set up the same thing we have over here, which is pretty much just a um, funnel requesting roses every so often. And that's just the exact same thing we're going to do over here. So we should have a funnel the spark and an item frame and then we also need an hourglass and it can go it could go right there couldn't it yeah And we'll put Rosa in there, and I don't think we even need redstone, do we? Because it'll... we'll see. So we have three, so we need to do this every 22 minutes. Twenty minutes, what am I thinking? Twenty. Every twenty minutes we'll request a Rosa. Um let's go get a couple. Let's get one. We'll grab one and have the others self populate, because that'll be better that way. Oh, I needed two. One to put in the item frame. She fed some wheat while I am at it. Um. there and that's already on you're there okay so then our next thing is to grab some cows and some more wheat probably let's do a stack have the two cows oh I have three cows I'm gonna leave one cow over here for the milking process that we'll need to do for um, cake
And then once we have four, we'll spread it out so that there's a pair in each one of these pods. For now, you're fine. Where's the other one? Come on. You didn't just become two cows, did you? <sighs> oh, of course you're gonna be this way. There's a baby. Okay, good. Um, and he's got XP. Great. You've got XP. You've got XP. Good. This is probably empty, though. There's no way. Oh, it's got a teeny tiny amount in there, too, just from the breeding the cows. Hmm. So we have, like, five minutes before the breeding cycle expires and they can be fed again. Um, I want to know if this is going to request wheat or not. So let's pick it up. Oh, it did. It did. Good, good. Because <laughs> got more than I had in my inventory. All right. And for now, this is going to just run. In 20 minutes, I will want to put um, cows in either this one or this one. And then again here, so that the roses aren't wasted. That they're actually collecting. And then we can fill in the gaps as cows are bred. But I think... We should now be building up our cow stock. It'll be a slow process because I do not have a lot of cows. But um, we'll see how that goes with just the XP from the Rosa. For now. Um, it's gonna the polydesiac is gonna take more XP the more animals it has to breed, but each time it breeds it produces XP, so it might be a mana positive sort of setup. Maybe, hopefully, cross your fingers. And it does look like we'd be able to have a lot of cows over here if we need to. And I think in this middle section, we'd be able to set up the milking process, too. With the drum of the... gathering. We just need to drop buckets, which again, the random carpets can't place, so they'll be fine. And the drum of the gathering should be fired every so often and the buckets will automatically fill with milk and we'll be able to collect them all in this lovely little setup i don't quite know what the range is of the drama the gathering but it's the same as for shearing isn't it so it's a number um let's bring it up Drum of the Gathering. Um, so the buckets of milk need to be dropped near a cow. Does any empty buckets dropped below a cow will fill with milk? So I'm wondering if the buckets need to be um, if I need to drop the buckets in with the cows or if I could put it like drop next to the cows I can well like in these spots I could drop buckets here suppose that's something we can test when we get to that point
And this, again, is going to take a forever. So we should probably find something else to do. How are we doing? We have 64. So we're, do we're holding pretty well with uh, mana tablets. Um, we should make sure things aren't breaking again because that would be crummy. Looks like that's running. And our hydrangeas, did they recover from being low? It appears that they did. And the thermal lilies, they're running. So I think we're doing well. Oh, I think we still need to catch up a bit. Yeah, probably one more pulse will fix that. It's got a while before that happens. Okay, let's just force one. Get those placed. Okay. How are we on lava? Are they still holding steady? We don't have to worry about going into the nether for that. It doesn't look like it. Looks like we're doing okay there. And how are we doing for... wood. We're building our stockpile now that we have enough living wood made. We're okay on charcoal. I checked that. The um, agrocarnations. We need to make more for that layer and I need to do lots more of the funnels and sparks for that layer. For this side. Um, do we want to do more carrots and beetroot? The only uses for carrots and beetroot right now currently are none but um they will become useful in the future for the cellular blocks mm, we could do beetroot soup that's something to consider for a food item bread and beetroot soup Um, baked potatoes are two and a half, so beetroot soup is three. We have food options. Oh, let's hope oh, it just harvested. Woohoo! Oh, that looked like it failed before it got to the end. Nope, it didn't. They they harvest planted. It didn't really. Those drums didn't co collect everything. Well, that's frustrating. I mean, I guess I had to figure that that may happen. We might need more drums than what we've got. Hmm. I'll worry about that another time. We have one sheep, one pig, a bunch of chickens. <sighs> Let's see here. I'm gonna check off that we've automated beef. We will need to cook the beef once we start getting beef from our cow farm, which will be a while. Uh, the Gormorellis is going to be over next to the Thermalily. And I think it's very likely I'll just do the same setup that I did in Season 1. Because I liked what we did with the mana detector, but it's not... I don't think it's going to be very scalable. Yeah, probably not. Have we gotten the last rune yet? No.
bummer. I don't know what color it is we need, but there's just one more. Still low on spider eyes, apparently. There's only one here. Which tells me that our setup over here, is it still going lower or is it building back up? Forty-one. I don't think it's going up. Hmm. We may have to turn off the Narslimus after all, or turn down, like, only have a couple instead of four. It does look like they've been more recently requested. Like in the last 10-15 minutes. Which would I suppose would explain that it's mm, the spider eyes hasn't grown. We'll give it another hours, um, another hour. We'll keep an eye on this before we consider turning it off. And so you guys know, as far as mana from the Narslimus, we're at 36 out of 50. That's awesome. Okay. I suppose I could fly. Grab some more living rock for another platform. Let's make sure that these flower the flower crafting hasn't broken again. I should really don't want to have to babysit this, but and then the gorm the gormies are being gonna be crafted right here. Oh, the randomness. So, here is where we're gonna do our Gormorillus. And I think I counted, was it five? Two, three, four, five, yep. One, two, three, four, five, here. start with this size see how we go Let's figure this out. If we do like I did in my previous world, that was corporea funnels with um, hourglasses and animated torches, 
and then they were on top of uh, open crates, so they fell straight down. And then behind it along the wall, I had a way of sending messenger pulses to turn the hourglasses off in case the resources ran out. Um, which happened a lot in my previous world, so I had to had to turn it off. Um, switching the item frames like we were testing in the creative world probably won't work, simply because the items despawn if you don't switch them into an item frame before the five minute timer is up, the despawn timer, and that's just you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, Diamond Anvil! Hello, nice to see you! You have redeemed balanced diet, so I get to change what I've been eating to something else. food chest. Beetroot have I had beetroot soup? No, I haven't. I haven't enjoyed beetroot soup. I could do that. I have four to get started here. And I don't think I've had this, so I need to write it down here. I've had beetroots on its own. Let's do BR soup. Woo. Okay, while I'm here, let's put that away. Do, do, do. These need to go in there too. Extra petals could go in there if it weren't full. Do I have space to put the petals over here? like things are still functioning. I hate that I have to keep going. Hmm, do things still work? Looks like they're working. Oh, did you feel that? That, just that bit of lag there. That was unfun. Alright, so how many? We've got a couple in there, so let's pull you out and put you in that one. Same for you. Okay. And wait till you grow up, but we're not gonna. Once we have another one, we will put you in there, and that will make me happy for all satisfying all the rosas. So that will work that way. What's your cooldown? 17th. Oh, we should that should happen any moment. There we go. Then we'll move you here. Great! 
so now we just have to wait for these guys to grow up, which is the longest timer. But in the meantime, I know this will flip over and request another Rosa to go here. So as these guys grow up and breed, we'll be able to continue expanding our farm. And once we have two in each of these, I will stop babysitting it. <laughs> Let's calculate this. Let's see if we can do some math. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six pods. It's the default suffocation, so that's what, 24? So, six times 24. Well, let's do six times 12, because of breeding pair. And that's how much steak we would get approximately every five minutes. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think we might want to be able to get eggs over here too and do carrots. And have like cows on one side and pigs on the other we would just need to have another one of these setups with um, carrots and then we'd need a bigger drawer system for the things that cows the pigs drop which is the pork chops but they also drop tallow not that I've ever used tallow for anything. <laughs> it makes candles, and apparently you can use it as fuel, but we're using mana as fuel. So that is actually something that I don't really have a use for, other than the enchanting, and you can color them. That's really... Mm, might not be worth keeping the tallow. <laughs> oh, something we do need to do. We need to put a corporeal spark on the drawer. Bloop. Yeah, I know candles can be used for enchanting, but so can pylons from Batania. So yeah. Okay, so that didn't work. It should have requested. Oh, there it is. It spit it out really far. We don't want that to happen. Um, so I do need to have the space. Yeah. We need to move the hourglass up. And we probably need glass to keep it from flying everywhere. So let's do that. Now it's got the space for the flower to show up on top instead of fly everywhere. Yeah, I've never used the quark enchanting. It's not that I ha don't want to, it's just that I love Batania. So, we don't need to camp here. Um, how are we doing underneath? It still has a teeny tiny bit of mana in it. Ah, 
I hardly use enchanting either. Um, I will want to improve this to get the best possible stuff once I've got everything, all of the tones that I want. That's why I keep checking over here, because I'd like to get all of the tones, like this one, and get the best enchants for all of that. So... And we're doing okay for Ender Pearls. 1513, not yet shut off. This is gonna take a while. But it is nice to have automated Ender Pearls now and automated Ender Air. Ender Pearls. Yeah, Ender Pearls, Ender Air, Blaze Powder. Yeah, okay. looking at my to-do list. I don't I don't feel driven to do anything at the moment. Um how are we up here? It's full. Let's go get that upgrade. Not that we need more than eight stacks of these. Uh, I have an upgrade, so we might as well just upgrade it. Have it a little bit more full. There. So yeah. We will want to put regular grass here. I haven't yet. It's definitely something that I could do. And then this should be fine, right? These are running. Yep, okay. I will want to move all of this back. It's not lined up with the wall here. I'm gonna have to just deal with this one, I think. I don't have to tear it down and move it in. I think I lined this one up with that. Did I? Let's see. I did not. In fact, that one is in further, which is okay, I guess. Merp. Whatever. How are we doing? No one's growing up. Oh. Well, that's a way to give it some ex give it some mana. I can't I can't target the baby cow. You're too far away in order to produce anything, so that's fun. want to see what are what, anything you guys want to want to uh, I can't do any building right now my brain's not in it um I've got some resources that I need to rebuild my toolboxes a bit because I know that I'm low on like corporeal funnels and stuff um Yeah, the breed the polydesiac is trying to breed cows that are in separate pods. Yeah, that's just gonna be something that happens. Um I'm not too worried about that, really. It's just wheat. And once there's a bunch of them, there'll be less issue with that. Um I think one block space apart from cows actually is still close enough for them to breed so 
It's just while I have them so spread apart. Well, that's something. How the way the, an the way the mobs fell was very stuttery, but the sky doesn't. No, the sky looks a little stuttery. Oh well. Have I shown you what tomes I've gotten already? I don't think I did. Here are my max tier um, enchants so far, the ones I've combined with a tome. So I have Smite 4, Thorns 4, and Protection 5 now. Those are the ones I've combined. And that's just random, I didn't select them, I just, whatever ones I grabbed. These are the tomes I have. I probably have duplicates. This is just what I've been bringing over from the farm. This is all my enchanted books that um, I've been getting from the farm as well. These are all the ones that I made, if you remember, way back in the day. These are the ones I've got that will eventually need to become ones with tomes. And they'll all, end, all the ones with tomes will end up in here. Um, I don't, I think we're at nine, yeah, nine out of 23 or maximum level enchanted book. So I will have to go through all those. No. Can we check off more of the fun little challenges in the lexica? Um. So we have a flower farm. We do not have a record farm. We have a sugarcane farm. Bonus point, we're not using pistons. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> we have a cobble generator. We have an automated pure daisy. Um, bonus points if only one spreader is used and or if the wood stone input is also automated. We didn't use any spreaders, and it is automated woodstone, so we can complete that. We have created a mana battery. Pretty darn good one. Normal. We have created a, an apothecary refiller. This is filling with buckets. Bonus points if it can automatically create flowers given the components. We've got that. We have a tree farm, and it is self-sustaining. Cannot do multiple types of tree, but oh well. So we're gonna mark that. We have a crop form with all types of wheat. Wheat, carrot, potatoes, beetroot, melon, pumpkin. We do not have cocoa. So we're not gonna check that one off yet. Not that I foresee a need for cocoa, but it's listed in there, so whatever. Do not have um, all animals. Um, automated farm that uses, uh, utilizes bone meal to grow crops? Why would this be a Batania thing? Instead of the agricarnation. Hmm. And we have an automated orchid. Things are smelted and sorted, so we can count that as done. Mobs must be sorted and put in specific chambers. If. <laughs> 
We don't have an entrepinium set up. Shulk me not. We don't have automated brewing. Kekamaris, automated quarry. This would never happen because we don't have um, Yeah, this bonus point of using only one runic altar, this would never be a possible thing in the size of world that we need to do. But we can, we will eventually have all runes crafting on demand or keeping stock, which we do this stock one. So we'll be able to check that off, and that's it. We're, we're, we've got quite a few of the challenges. That's pretty darn cool. Hey, Sansu. Um... I'll be creating one of those eventually. We haven't used Illuminizer for transport of ourselves. We, we could real quick. Um, I have no idea what this is. The Mana Storm Charge? I don't know. But it says to do it really far away, so that is definitely scary. I think that we can just click onto here. And yep. There we go. Now it's taken us through here too. Woohoo! <laughs> You've been playing FOG of Magic? Yeah, you know, I have heard that that is a buggy as heck mod pack. That's not one I'm interested in. Um, Breakfast Craft has that on a server too, and it's constantly causing them problems. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, it's constantly causing them server problems, so yeah. Not one I suggested. Um, when they were looking for suggestions for the next pack, I actually suggested Brass, which is a tech one. They tend to like the tech packs. Alright, let's pick you up and put you in here. Right there. There's just two in there, okay. There's just two in there, okay. <laughs> Dem is a machine. He tends to fly through packs pretty fast, doesn't he? Okay. Um, what do I want to do now? We're supposed to be working on the Gormorillus. Oh boy. And that will live here. Probably a larger platform. <laughs> the reason I haven't started this, I keep thinking there's got to be a cool way to do this other than the way I did in, se in my Season 1 world, but I'm having a feeling that that is not the case. So let's grab, you know, I don't think I have anything making gravel, do I? Oh wait, I think the Orchid Tarum does. Let's see. Yes, okay, so we need a stack of gravel. Not cobblestone. There we go. Make some uh, coarse dirt because we were low. And if we do a Gormorillus here, that'll be the first one we do. It was right there. 
and we'll expand from whatever setup we get here. I do not believe I have supplies to um, make it functioning currently. Probably not. So we need two open crates. And two funnels of which we're almost out of funnels. Okay. Open crates there. The funnels on top. That won't work. We need more than one space, don't we, for the uh, stuff to come out of the open crate, don't we? That might work. And then the animated torch is mana powder. I do not have any of that here. Put it here, they'll give us more space for things. So I need to put redstone on top of these guys. Okay. And we need to get corporea down here. It's up there. Look at there's an index I forgot I put up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof, that might be too far. <laughs> well, that that's cool. It really did connect. It did. That's quite a distance. Okay. Great. And then we need a um, pulse spreader. I have, I'm pretty sure I have um, messenger lenses. Let's go see if I still have a couple of those left. I do. This isn't how we were going to do this, was it? I was just going to use an hourglass. I was trying to copy the one from the creative world. We'll need to use an, a mana spreader, but it can be further away. Um, yeah. We're doing the hourglass for the timing. And we're going to put that in the same spot, though, here. 
but we'll have a mana spreader pointing at the hourglass to turn on and off if we run out of resources. Yep, yep. So we need the food items that we can start with, which is bread. They're gonna be really low value ones, but like bread and beets. Can't eat eggs. Which is weird. You can't eat eggs in here. Well, well, realistically, yeah, you can do boiled eggs. This unfortunately isn't real. Okay, good. I just had this feeling that it wasn't high enough to drop things. So I think we're going to do like I do over the thermo lily and actually do mana collection underneath there. So I'm going to need another platform. Let's do five. Let's just go to here. All right. down here somewhere is going to be one of those setups. You don't know what I'm talking about. Ease. Um, I do not, I need to make a mana spreader for going directly underneath here. I also need to do the Ran and Carpus setup for placing the Gormorillus. Um, we need to figure out how big this is going to be. Uh, the Gormorillus is another flower that can do like an 11 by 11, I believe. Let's see. I'm trying to Gormorillus. The, the Ran and Carpus that places the flowers. 17 by 17 by 13. Okay, yeah, we're, we're plenty fine. So if that's the first spot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be where the random carpus would need, could be in order to make a large enough pad to still be able to reach that spot.
Well, and we'll plan for that. We'll... That'll be where the random carcass goes. Do we need to make... We have one funnel left. All right. So that'll be where the runner carpus requests Gormorillus, which we are not currently crafting over there. Um, but we can, we have all the resources. We need to craft... This bread's down. I need to craft bread. And the other one could be either carrots or beets or... I guess I could do cooked potatoes. We could cook potatoes. Um, and we need to do baked potatoes. And those could be the starter foods until we have enough cows for beef. And we wanted to do pork chops, right? Yeah. Or pumpkin pie, which now that I have a pumpkin farm, we could craft pumpkin pie. Um, that is only pumpkin, sugar, and egg, right? Hmm. I mean, I've got, I just need to upgrade this drawer. I've not done that, but I've got eggs galore here. So that's, <laughs> see, eggs are useful. Yeah. <laughs> got plenty of sugar. Um, I'm crafting that over there. And we created this yesterday. So it's got a little bit of pumpkins. It's got 16 stacks of pumpkin. Just a little bit. Um, we built it specifically for melon, but it does both. And like I said, I think I could probably, with how many are still sitting here, I could probably speed up the timer. So let's go ahead and do that. It's five, let's do three. There. A little faster. We'll put the rest of this in here. I, I think this is going to be it for today, though. That headache that I've started getting hasn't gone away like I thought it would. Unfortunately. And... Yeah, I'm just petering out. That's life, right? <laughs> so, between this stream and next Saturday's stream, I will continue to monitor the cow breeding to make them all in the right pens and everything. Um... I will create the flower crafting for the Gormorillus because we have everything we need to do that. We just need to craft it. Um, and if I get around to it, we'll definitely try to do those two, but if I get around to it, I will do the auto crafting for bread, cooking potatoes, and potentially pumpkin pie so that we can actually next week have a functioning Gormorillus over here at least one to get us started and go from there. Once we have one of these running, we can start our next flower, which I think requires more runes. So we might need to do more materials for another rune. Um, the next one we'll be working on is probably, probably the munch do. Uh, Cause we already have a tree farm. Um, what f runes do I need to do for you? Gluttony. Oh, winter. So we need to do a winter rune and a gluttony rune to get that done, which means we need to do sunny quartz. 
which means we need a sunflower farm, which we don't really have. I mean, we have one to just to keep our rainmaker running, but we don't have one to create a surplus of sunflowers. And so we'll have to do that and we'll have to dupe our nether quartz. So there's a bunch to get to a munch do. Um, cake is going to require a winter rune as well, as well as the milk milkers for the cows, which we'll be able to get to in order for cake to happen. What else is the kick? Um, it's, it's spring, which we have to automate spring, which means we need grass. We have everything else. And then we'd need the gluttony again, so we'd need winter. So we need to do the seasonal runes, apparently. Um, yeah, this one needs winter also. So maybe that's our next step, getting the seasonal runes done. Because this one only needs a seasonal, this one doesn't need a tier 3. And all the others I looked at needed tier 3, so this one might actually be our next one, which is a, a lot of work. But it might be our next one. What's the entropinium? Does entropinium require a tier 3? Yes, it requires a wrath. Which is more winter rounds. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we don't have hardly anything from for this. We don't have um, cake. We don't have snow. We don't have packed ice or regular ice. We don't have those things yet. So that one it looks like the spectral lotus is going to be the next one we do then. After the gormorillus, we'll do the spectral lotus. Hmm. I believe the Reflausia and the Shulk Me Not both require the tier 3 runes. Yes, that one requires a pride. And then the, um... I do Shulk Me Not. I was like, I do not remember the name of the flower. That requires two tier three runes, so we are not ready for any of this yet. So it looks like our next one, I'm gonna write it down. The next one will be the Spectral Lotus if we're going based on what runes we have. Which means we're gonna need a cheap farm, which might be smart enough to put in that area that we already have the cows, because they use, well, I don't need to breed that many sheep. I need to just shear a bunch of white sheep because I think it'd be, like I said, I think it'd be really fun and different to have a um, the wool factory be we place white wool, change the wool color, and harvest the wool. So the only kind of color sheep we need are white. And then we can just use the paint slinger lens to change the wool itself to different colors. That sounds fun to me. <laughs> and different. It sounds fun and different. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to go. I will see you back here next Saturday for some more Floramancer. And we will have a Gormorillus functioning. And we'll be working toward the spectral lotus. So I will see you then. Take care folks and have a great rest of your day. Bye!